had a uh, weekend against uh, Minnesota, and obviously, you know, getting Friday night's game, guys played real well. Getting a sweep would have been huge, and, and that was obviously the, uh, the plan. But uh, um, overall, you know, even though we didn't get it done on Saturday night, our guys from Minnesota played real well, and um, that's that's a typical Big Ten weekend where you, where you battle it out. And, um, you know, maybe uh, I thought Minnesota played much better on Saturday night. You know, usually, the, the most desperate team wins, and they were probably a little more desperate than us, and. Uh, you know, that resulted in a you know pretty tight game, but overall, um, hey, we're, we keep moving forward. We got six weekends left. And, uh, big road series against Wisconsin this weekend. Championship teams have that desperation, even when they're in the lead. And Izzo talks about teaching teams to win is the hardest part once you get them to win. <laughs> How do you get them to be the most desperate team, even when they're the favorite? Yeah, that's that's the art, isn't it? Um, <laughs> it's not a science and. You know, we talked about that a lot, a lot as a team. You know, after the game and, and spent a little time with it yesterday. And it is, I mean, that's something that whatever you want to call it, that, that killer instinct or that you know that that rage to, to success that that really good teams have. And you know, it's something that you have to learn, unfortunately. And, and you want it to be be a habit. And I thought we were close. I thought there was only a couple areas of the game. And it was mostly, oddly enough, usually when you don't have the right intensity, it's from the blue line back to your own goal. Uh, that our, Ours happened to be, I thought from the blue line, their blue line back to our, our net, we were outstanding. I thought from the blue line in, we got a little too perimeter and felt a little too, um, I don't know, comfortable or cute with our hockey. And that's that's really not the way most hockey's played, especially teams like us. We had to be more straight line. And, and we didn't get as much chances off the rush or the forecheck that we needed. And, and for us, we need we need quantity uh, to get our goals. And that's just the way we are as a team. So, you know, hopefully that's something we can hammer into them that, you, you know, we can't get away from any facet of our game. And we were close, but close gets you, you know, one nothing uh, loss with an empty netter at the end. So, you know, again, that's a that's a learned thing, and you've got to go through it. And hopefully they recognize that. Coach, you guys swept Wisconsin the first time around. What did what did you guys do so well in that series that you would like to see carried over into this one? Well, I think I think our uh, our compete was uh, was outstanding in that game. And, and in contrast to what I said, I think every area of the game we were on, and, um, and our confidence throughout the game, even the one we were up three two, um, gave up a goal late, and then we were able to come back and win in overtime. I think was you know that's a good testament. That's you need to be able to do that and put. Hey, some bad things happen in the game. Sometimes you mess up. Sometimes it's it's just just the way the puck bounces. Um, but you have to be able to react to that. And I thought over that weekend we, we handled adversity really well. We handled success really well. And um, you know, hey, we got you get a little lucky sometimes. You know, Caulfield hit a couple posts. But overall, I thought we defended well and uh, neutralized their transition. It'll be a little harder to do there on the big ice. Um, but we're going to be aware of it. That's a that's a big part of the game when you play Wisconsin. Is you have to figure out a way to slow down their transition and uh, you know maybe play in their end a little bit more than they're in yours. And then it's been well documented the type of year that Lethman's having. Did you expect him to step up like this and just talk about his year as a whole? Well, I, you know what, um, you know the numbers I, I would say, you know where he's at save percentage wise and goals against wise, that's uh, that, that probably would, would not have been <laughs> predicted, uh, hoped for maybe, but not predicted. But you know, in terms of improvement, um, you know, from the spring and summer that he had, and then how he looked early on, I think, I think we knew his numbers were going to be better this year. And, and quite frankly, Drew, Drew was the same way. We thought he was going to be better. So, you know, we were hoping that you know, one, if not both, would jump up. But, but it's a, a definitely a pleasant surprise to uh, to the level that, that he's playing at, and the confidence and he's seeing the puck. And, you know, it doesn't doesn't look like it's not a fluke. He's doing this every weekend. Going back to your last series against Wisconsin, how much were you impressed too with the resiliency that your guys showed in terms of everything that was going on off the ice uh, when it came to that weekend as well, and just the resiliency that you're trying to build overall? Yeah, no, it's uh, you know what, there's these are uh, they're college kids, and you know what, there's there's things going on in their lives that. Uh, um, you know they're not pros. They're not. They're not paid to do this. And you know you can't say hey, that the, the personal things that are going on and, and, and such that hey, they really affect us and, and they affect everyone. So you know what? If anything, I think it just kind of maybe showed everybody else what we've seen out of our team and what we've seen in our locker room that it's a it's a it's a very close group. Um, you know, there's a lot of love in that room, and it's it's something I really like. It's a fun group to coach because of that. And um, when one one guy takes something personally, they all do. And, and when something good happens, I think you can always 
you get a good look at your team when something good happens to somebody and how everybody else reacts. And if, if everybody else reacts uh, with as much, if not more, enthusiasm than, than the guy where something's going right then, then you've, you've got things in the right place. And that, that's how our group is. They celebrate together, um, they mourn together, and, and, uh, and that gets that, that bond that you want. That's, that's for me at least, is, is maybe the most fun part of coaching is trying to get that type of atmosphere because you need it to have success. Um, but you know what, you know, hey, that's life, you don't always have success, but if you have that kind of, uh, that bond and that kind of commitment to each other, that's a, that's a beautiful thing, and um, I like going through that. And then now as you, guess, I guess the second half, a majority of your games are now on the road. So how are you anticipating, or what would you like to see out of your team on the road now going and playing in this, especially in this series you with Wisconsin? Well, you know what, the... Uh, yeah, so five home, one at Little Caesar, six on the road. Um, the way the way we need to play really doesn't change a lot. The biggest issue for us on the road is not how we play, just just matchup wise, and trying to get that as, as close as we can. And we're pretty comfortable with our matchups, uh, so we can get a little sideways sometimes, and it's not so bad. But you know, the way we need to play, just what we we're talking about on Saturday night, where we got a little perimeter, like you can't play that way. And um, road hockey and playoff hockey are, are basically the, the same thing. And we've been talking about, hey, this is, hey, our playoffs have started. And, and everybody's job came from position in the Big Ten. You saw last weekend that didn't matter where anyone was, Ohio State split, we split. Um, Michigan sweeps Notre Dame. Um, and just, just kind of weird things happen. But the way we have to play, it has to be consistent, it has to be focused. Um, and there has to be a lot of, a lot of sheer will. That's the, the John Wick theory of hockey, right? You know, focus, commitment, and sheer will. So. Could you talk could you talk a little bit about Logan Landon and his role on the team, both as a senior and as a work ethic guy? Well, you know, Logan's been, he's an outstanding young man. He's, he's a tremendous hard worker. He's not the biggest guy on our team, he's, but he's a very tough, uh, tough young man. And he's kind of brought that the first couple of years. I think this year, um, his spring and summer were outstanding. And, and I, I always go back to the two seniors when I talk about conditioning, Sam Saliba and himself made unbelievable progress. I mean, they hit the weights, they hit the sprints, they hit the plyos. Uh, they train fast, uh, they're playing faster. And um, Logan's just had a real positive impact. And you know what, we've got him playing with two freshmen now. He plays with a lot of speed. He's taken the puck to the net an awful lot more. Um, he's found a nice little spot on the power play where he's doing some good stuff for us. So, you know, he's, and I like it when seniors don't accept that, hey, it's my last year, this is just where I'm at. And I want him to keep improving. And, and, and those guys have him. Logan especially. So, you know what, he, he leads in his way and he, he brings some, some energy and like I said, some 5-on-5 five five scoring, he's driving the net and um, those, those things are contagious. Dan, uh, two quick questions. One, how many teams would you project looking at the eye test will get in the NCAA tournament from the Big Ten? Um, I think Penn State and Ohio State are probably getting in and then then there's then there's some bubbles. <laughs> you know, there's right. you know ourselves and, and, and Notre Dame uh, um, you know, Minnesota, Wisconsin, Michigan have have a, they're kind of like we were last year. They had a lot of work to do the second half to get there. So, that, but I would say two to four probably be in the, be in the top. Last year at this time, it I don't know if you'd use the term pipe dream, but it was a long shot to get in. It's not now. So you, with six weekends to go, if you're going to make the NCAA tournament, what's the storyline going to be? Well, you know, you're right. It's it's not. I mean, we're we're in the mix. I mean, we're we're a true bubble team. If you want to define that right now, we're 16 and and 16 aren't getting in. It's going to be 15 at the most because you know there's going to be a qualifier that's not ranked, and then then there's some upset. So we need to be a little bit higher. Um, I think the, the storyline for us is that it's going to be that they just kept getting better. They started pretty well and they kept getting better because we can't afford to be the same team right now that that we are at the end of the year. We have to get better every game, every weekend. Um, because everybody else isn't cranking it up, and that's you see that sometimes in the playoffs. You go in St. Louis is a great example. Last year is you know they turned the corner in January, and then they kind of ramped it up. And then every round in the playoffs, you're going to well, they're they're going to lose this series. You know they've had a good run, they're going to lose. And you kept thinking that all the way to the finals, but they kept improving. And I think that's that's where we need to be. And we have to have the mental um, fortitude or capacity to understand that that's possible. That there are things you can do better, and we can focus on those. And, and keep a every point is going to be huge from here on out. And you know what? If you leave one on the on the table, like maybe we did, maybe one, if not two or three, like we did on Saturday night, those are tough points to leave there that are attainable. So, 
you know, I think that's going to be keep getting better, be resilient, and uh, next game focus. And that's that's where we're at. It's Friday night right now. We can't play 12 games Friday night. We can only play one, and that's against Wisconsin and see if you can. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you.